You may remember Cave Johnson from Portal, or at least my audience will, as we theorised about who Shell's mother and father was. The man was an absolute fucking legend, forging the Aperture Science Company from a desire to improve. But do you remember why he died? Here, I'll let the man sum it up to you in his own words. <coughs> the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. So our hero Cave met his untimely demise because of moon dust, which poses an interesting question. Is the moon poisonous? Well, as you're aware from film and photos, the moon surface is duster. The word to describe that is regolith, which sounds weird to me and like it may be used to describe different types of lifts, whatever they are. Think about it, you have monolith, megalith, and this is just regular lift, so it's regolith. Anyway, this regolith, or moon dust, is made up of very fine particles, composing of the very material that makes up the moon. Scientists have found that ground up moon dust does indeed pose a great risk to humans, as astronauts were to find out. Mantaka, we have a problem. This microscopic harmful debris would attach itself to their spacesuits, only to be tracked back into their spaceships where it could wreak havoc with their equipment. Oh, it's got dust on me, Megadron! The substance is reported to be so abrasive that it wore through three layers of a Kevlar like substance that made up the astronauts' boots. Not surprising really as one of the materials that makes up moon dust is aluminium oxide, which anyone who follows our build videos may be aware is used as an abrasive. But while getting a hole in your spacesuit is trouser browning stuff in space, what are the implications for us human beings? Well by far the greatest risk is posed by doing what poor Cave Johnson did, and that's snorting the stuff up your snoz. You see, moon dust is said to be like volcanic ash or even asbestos in that it's very fine, so can penetrate deep within the respiratory system. Its size and long term exposure to proton and ultraviolet radiations mean it could increase the risk of various types of cancer. Then of course there is the risk to the skin and eyes, which you might consider no biggie but remember, they are on the fucking moon. Things we don't even think about in our day to day lives pose a real risk and potential life-threatening issue if you're stuck in space. One of the reasons the moon dust is so sharp is that it hasn't undergone the same erosion as it would if it were on Earth. Some of the particles were said to be coated with a glass-like shell, a result of rocks being vaporised by meteorites impacting the moon's surface. So before you snort a line of moon dust thinking it'll give you superpowers, just remember what old Cave Johnson said. Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. As for whether ground up moon dust is a good conductor for portals, well that's something Rowley may answer another time. But next, can we make combustible lemons? <laughs>